Hi friends, this is Tori. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am working in my Discbound Traveler's Notebook using a printable set that I purchased from Sahin Designs. And I'm going to be using this sketch that I have in one of my Archer and Olive notebooks that I created. So these are the items that I printed out from this set. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I will link that down below for you if you are interested in it. I pulled out some different stamp sets, but I'm actually only gonna end up using the letter stamps. Those ones are from Paper Person. I have also pulled out a sapphire ink pad from Close to My Heart, but I end up deciding ultimately later on to just go with black. So the first thing that I am going to do, I am documenting a pool day that I had with the kids, my husband and I had with the kids um, a few weekends ago. So I wanted to use this really fun like pool summer printable set. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is pulling the kind of hatch pattern, I guess. I'm not really sure what it's called. Um, and it's just basically blue lines. I'm pulling that out and I'm going to place it on two kind of very basic traveler's notebook pages. I'm going to rip the edges of those. I'm placing it on either side to give it a little bit of texture to add. And then I'm going to get that taped down. Um, I took a bunch of pictures of the kids this day. So I basically put them in the pick frame app, I believe is what I used. Um, and printed it out on a 4 by 6 photo and then just cut that photo in half. And each side basically has pictures of either the kids together or just my son or just my daughter so now that I have the background paper added to my pages um, I believe I'm gonna go ahead and start getting things fussy cut out I could have kind of cut these with my Cricut but I didn't really feel like it so um, I just kind of put them all on one piece of paper and just fussy cut them out I'm going to use my single hole punch for this label uh, just to kind of get a perfect little notch on each of the four corners and then I will move on to fussy cutting this little tag that says recorded and I have a few like little water splashes as well and then a word that says aquaholic and then I'm gonna kind of dry fit those around my spread kind of see where I want each of them to go and then go back to cutting out my pool rules. Little, I guess, die cut, it, they would be once they're cut out. <laughs> um, so I'm going to place the aquaholic and the pool rules diagonally from each other, and then I'm gonna use one little water splash in each of my little areas. So my, my die cuts are each going to be kind of like my points of, my little embellishment clusters, if you will. So I'll have one that says aquaholic with a little splash and then my pool rules with a little splash. And then I have that label that I'm gonna hang from the top left corner and I'm going to put the date under the recorded section of that blue little tab. And I will trim off the top of that black label and I'm actually, instead of tossing that, I'm just gonna place that down towards the bottom right hand page of my spread as well. Right hand side of my spread. Now that I've got everything fussy cut out, I am ready to start getting things adhered down into their permanent homes. I'm gonna start with both of my photos, trying to line them up so that they're in the same spot on both of my pages. And then I'll move on to getting each of my die cuts uh, pasted down where I would like them to be as well. Since I was uh, dry fitting everything as I was cutting it out, I am pretty much going to stay um, along with where I've set everything out so far. I will move my aquaholics up a little bit um, so that it's not actually resting on that tag, but in between the tag and the photo. But that's really going to be the only change that I make um, from what I was where I was placing things as I was cutting them out. So I've got my uh, date roller and I'm going to go ahead and place the date on this recorded die cut before I get that taped down and then once I do that I will start getting everything else done. I will use my Barely Arts glue 
to adhere down a couple of things like this really tiny water splash I didn't really feel comfortable trying to use my tape runner on that so I'm just going to use the glue and then I also use it on a small portion of the next water splash that I do as well and then everything else I'm just going to use my favorite tape runner um, and get that taped down as well then once I get everything adhered down, all of my die cuts, I will move on to stamping my title out. I'm going to stamp my title across both pages and it's going to be in the center of my photos. And it will say pool day. Um, once I get that stamped out, then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of my embellishment binders um, and see if I can find something to embellish the center of that. Thinking back, I probably could have used the Allie Edwards like summer stamp set that I've got up in the corner of my video. It's got like a star, a shell, and some stuff in there that I could have used. But I hadn't, like I just wasn't thinking about that when I was actually putting this together. So I do pull out my binder to see if I can find something like beachy, summery, swimming themed. And I find a little blue puffy shell sticker. So I did switch from blue to black for my title because I felt like there was a lot of blue on this page and I'm really happy that I made that decision. And that is going to be all I have for today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!